Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. The function f of x is differentiable, continuous, and f of x is not equal to zero for all values of x in the interval four to eight. If f of four is equal to one over four, f of eight is equal to one over two, and the integral from four to eight of f prime of x squared divided by f of x to the fourth power is equal to one, what is the value of f of six equal to? This is one of the hardest problems that was given in a test in Vietnam. I thank Nguyen Huen Khoi for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we are going to solve for the function f of x. Let's consider the integral from 4 to 8 of f prime of x divided by f of x squared. We can solve this by means of u substitution. Suppose u is equal to f of x. Then du is equal to f prime of x dx. So this integral becomes the integral from 4 to 8 of du over u squared, which is equal to negative 1 over u from 4 to 8. We substitute and then simplify. We know the values of f of 8 and f of 4. So we substitute in and we get that this integral is equal to negative 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2. From here, let's consider the square of f prime of x divided by f of x squared plus k for some constant k. We can expand this binomial. Now let's take the integral of both sides from four to eight. The integral of a sum is the sum of the integrals. We can then take the constant terms outside of the integral. Now let's compute these three integrals. We are given the value of the first integral, that's equal to one. We just computed the value of the second integral, that's equal to two. The value of the third integral is equal to eight minus four, which is equal to four. So we'll substitute in and then we'll simplify. One plus four k plus four k squared is exactly equal to the square of two k plus one. Now let's pick a special value of k. Let's let k be equal to negative one over two. This means two k plus one will be equal to zero. So we substitute in. Now what can we deduce? We know the square of any real valued function will be non-negative, but we have that this integral is equal to zero exactly. This is only possible if the integrand is identically equal to zero. We can then take the square root of both sides and then add one half to both sides. So we get f prime of x over the square of f of x is equal to one over two. We will now take the integral of both sides. The left hand side will be negative one over f of x and the right hand side becomes x over two plus c. We substitute x is equal to four and we can solve for the value of c. c will be equal to negative six. So we have negative one over f of x is equal to x over two minus six. We can then simplify the right hand side then we can take the reciprocal of both sides. Then we multiply both sides by negative one. So we solved that f of x is equal to two divided by 12 minus x. We just substitute x is equal to six. So we get f of six is equal to two over 12 minus six. That's equal to two over six, which simplifies to be one over three. And that's the answer. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.